Coenzyme Q10 is very important for hundreds of biochemical reactions that happen in your body each and every day that have to happen if you wanna have optimal health. There are a long list of medications that will tank your coenzyme Q10 levels, but first let's talk about why coenzyme Q10 is so important. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Coenzyme Q10 is a coenzyme that hundreds of reactions in your body need to function optimally. The chemical name for it is ubiquinone, which kind of rhymes with ubiquitous. And the reason they named it this is because every animal on the planet and most bacteria have to have ubiquinone or CoQ10 in order to function optimally. Now, anytime we find something like this that is needed and necessary across all animal kingdoms, that's a hint that it's very, very important. Now, I've talked about this in a few of my other live videos on YouTube and Facebook, but I wanna dig in a little deeper in this video and then also let you know that any of the medications that you're taking, whether prescription or over-the-counter, could be lowering your CoQ10 levels drastically. Most of the coenzyme Q10 in your body is stored and used by your mitochondria. Now, you may have heard of mitochondria. These are the powerhouses of the cells in our body. The mitochondria make most of the energy molecules, the ATP and the NADH, that your body uses for energy. So right off the bat, you can see that if your CoQ10 levels are low, you're just not going to have the amount of energy that you need to function optimally. And indeed, this is the most common side effect of having low CoQ10 levels is fatigue. We find the highest levels of CoQ10 in the organs of our body that need the most energy. So heart, liver, kidneys, these have a much higher concentration of coenzyme Q10. But what if you're taking a medication on a daily basis, either prescription or over the counter, that's tanking your coenzyme Q10 levels and you don't even know it, then these organs are not going to be getting the CoQ10 they need for optimal function. So let's talk about the medications that you need to be aware of. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what to do about that. If you've been paying attention at all, you know that the cholesterol lowering drugs, the statins, drastically reduce your body's stores of CoQ10. Uh, indeed, all the statins and most of the other cholesterol lowering medications are going to deplete your store of CoQ10 or ubiquinone. We're not sure yet if Repatha and Praluent, the newest PCSK9 inhibitors, if they lower your CoQ10 or not. We need more research on that. The next drug class is the acid blockers, whether you're talking about proton pump inhibitors or mm -hmm. H2 blockers, or even just over-the-counter antacids. They all decrease your body's ability to absorb the building blocks of coenzyme Q10, and they're gonna lower your levels. So drugs like Nexium, Prevacid, Zantac, um, Prilosec, all of these medications are gonna lower your CoQ10 levels that are available for your mitochondria to use to make energy. Even seemingly innocuous antacids that you can buy over the counter at, and at even gas stations like Rolaids, Tums, and Mylanta, they're going to lower your body stores of CoQ10. Many antibiotics like Keflex, Cipro, Leviquin, uh, Bactrim, they're going to lower your stores of CoQ10. Now, there's a long list of antibiotics, and I put down in the show notes the complete list of all the medications that you can take that are either prescription or over-the-counter that will lower your CoQ10 level. So check that out and uh, double-check it against your current medication list. And if you are taking one of these medications, it doesn't mean stop taking that medication. It means follow the advice that I give you at the end of this video instead. Many antidepressants like Elevil or Pamelor can also lower your CoQ10 levels. Uh, there's a list down below. Uh, even some anti-nausea medications like Finergan can lower your CoQ10 levels drastically. Now, most people don't take something like Promethazine or Finergan every single day, but some people do. And if you do, you have to be aware of this and you have to take the steps that I talk about later. The blood thinner Coumadin or Warfarin significantly lowers your CoQ10 levels. Now, taking a CoQ10 supplement can actually affect your Coumadin levels. So if you're taking Coumadin or Warfarin, then you wanna get on a steady daily dose of CoQ10 and then your doctor can adjust your Coumadin level so that 
your INR is good, but also you're getting plenty of coenzyme Q10 as well. Blood pressure medications is the next big uh, topic. So all the beta blockers like labetalol, timolol, propranolol, they all lower your CoQ10 levels. Also, uh, the ACE inhibitors and the ARBs uh, like Acupril, Cozar, Lopressor, these all lower your CoQ10 levels. And even Clonidine, that old tried and true blood pressure lowering medication, tanks your CoQ10 levels. Any blood pressure lowering medication or heart medication containing HCTZ, yeah, it tanks your CoQ10 levels as well. What about diabetes medications? So again, there's a long list of these meds. You can see the full list down below, but any of the insulin uh, up regulators like glomipuride, glipizide, gliburide, yes, they definitely affect your CoQ10 levels. Also, metformin or glucophage lowers your CoQ10 levels as well. Next is any, many of the antipsychotic medications like Haldol or Melril, they can just wreak havoc on your CoQ10 levels. Doesn't mean stop taking them, it means do the following. So if you're taking one or two or three or four of the medications in the list down below, you're destroying your body's levels of CoQ10 and you're hampering your body's ability to be as energetic, as energized as it could be otherwise. So what are you supposed to do about that? So first and foremost, I want you to know that there are foods that are very rich in CoQ10. Any cut of meat from any land animal or from any fish that swims in the water is going to be a decent source of coenzyme Q10. The best source from food that you can get is heart. So beef heart, sheep heart, goat heart, uh, chicken hearts. And, and if, you, if you just went, ooh, keep in mind, human beings have been eating heart for millions of years. And it's quite delicious if prepared properly. And it might be easier to procure than you would imagine. But, so if you're not taking any of these medications or just taking one, you can probably get the amount of CoQ10 building blocks that you need from eating animal meat, fish, and heart occasionally. If you're taking two or more of these medications, then you probably are not going to eat enough meat and heart and other organ meats to get enough CoQ10, so you need to take a supplement. So I recommend that you take a supplement, not a dry chalky tablet but a, an olive oil filled gel cap that has at least 100 milligrams of CoQ10, kind of like this one. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't own this company. I don't get anything from this. It's just an affiliate link. You can click down in the show notes if you want to check this product out on Amazon. But I recommend you take at least 100 milligrams for each of the medications that you're taking from the list down in the show notes below. And so you don't have to worry about overdosing on CoQ10 if you follow that guideline. And so if you're not taking any of these medications <clears throat> and you take a thousand milligrams of CoQ10 a day, it's not going to be harmful. It might cause some stomach upset. That'd be about the worst side effect you could imagine if you're taking way too much CoQ10. But if you take only 100 milligrams per each one of these medications I talk about and show in the, in the show notes down below, you're never gonna to take too much CoQ10 and you're gonna give your mitochondria the CoQ10 levels that they need in order to give you optimal energy and health in many other ways. So I want you to definitely go through the list down in the show notes below for yourself, but I also want you to share this video and share this list with any of your friends or family members who you really care about to make sure they're not taking one of these medications as well. Because if they are, and they're not making sure they get plenty of CoQ10 in their diet or as a supplement, their life is gonna suffer to some degree. Hope this video helps. This is Dr. Barry, I'll see you next time.